it is my privilege on another Monday night to welcome each and everyone to our time of prayer. We have been doing very well. We want to welcome team number four, who changed baton uh, with team three, and they have been around since Sunday morning. The Rileys are out on a mission, and so Brother Germain, Pastor Germain, was ably put in charge of tonight's presentation, and I am thrilled to present him to you as our presenter for tonight. So we pray for the Rileys as they go on mission. And now let us pray as we turn over to Brother Germain. Our God and King, thank you, Father, for your presence that makes all the difference, that we are able to relate to you, to talk to you, to communicate to you. Lord, we pray that you would bless our pastor, Germain, and the team, number four. Lord, as they are on mission tonight, all across Jamaica and the various places that they represent. Thank you that he has a word and a pregnant word and a relevant word. Lord, we prepare ourselves now to be blessed and to be in tuned and to receive from you for what you have in store for us. We thank you. Amen. So team number four, over to you, Pastor Germain, and God bless you richly. The Lord bless you, Bishop, and I greet everyone tonight who is online. Greetings. And it is indeed a privilege to Sorry about that. It is indeed a privilege to be on tonight to share with you in our Monday night prime meeting. And tonight we have a interesting subtopic that I will just speak briefly on. And it is overcoming our differences and we can all agree tonight that you know as individuals as members of the kingdom of god we all have differences that is what makes us unique and tonight's reading okay. is Somebody might need to be muted. All right. So overcoming our differences. That is what I will be speaking on tonight. And it's, I'm going to read from Romans chapter 15 and just two verses, verse 5 and 6. And it says, verse 5 says, Now the God of patience and consolation grants you to be like-minded one toward another according to Christ Jesus that he may with one mind and one mouth glorify God even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ and that is the King James Version and I just want to read another version just for understanding and the NIV version says May the God who gives endurance and encouragement give you a spirit of unity among yourselves as you follow Christ Jesus, so that with one heart and one and with one heart and mouth you may glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for your word tonight. A word that has been set and assigned for this time and age to bring edification to your people. 
Lord, we thank you for this time of prayer. We ask, Lord, that your Holy Spirit will dwell within us. Lord, you will work in our lives daily. We pray, God, that you will speak to our hearts and our minds tonight as we give you all the praise and the glory. We ask, God, that as we interact tonight on this online session, Lord, you will be glorified in all things. God, we pray that our prayers will not just go up and bounce back, but it will reach heaven. And as we would want our prayers to reach heaven, we ask, Lord, and we humbly come to you preparing our hearts to commune with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So just to read again, may the God who gives endurance and encouragement give you a spirit of unity among yourselves as you follow Christ Jesus so that with one heart and mouth you may glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. As believers, we are called into one body. The body of Christ Jesus, that is. We are to strive for unity among ourselves in all things. And if we should look on the word unity, saints, unity is the state of being one or single-minded. And that is our objective tonight. That is our that is the direction that we'll be steering tonight to be one so that we can accomplish that which the Lord has set out for us throughout this year and the years to come. We are to be like-minded with Christ and renew our minds to the endurance and encouragement the scripture offer, offer us tonight. We should make an effort, saints of God, to dwell in the spirit of unity between one another, between believers, as children of God. Let us dwell in that spirit. Let us push toward that mark, the mark of unity, so that we can continually, continuously strive and dwell and be overcomers, and be triumphant in our walk with Christ. And there should be no divisions or arguments among us. Believers, we should live in mutual harmony out of love for each other in accordance with Christ Jesus. Tonight, I want to drag your memory to Ephesians 4 and verse, verses 1 to 4, where we saw Paul wrote to the church of Ephesus. And he says, As a prisoner of the Lord, then I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as you were called to be one, to one hope when you were called. It takes an effort, saints of God, to get along and to be in agreement. I know that all of you can agree with me tonight. That it takes yes. an effort. Because guess what? We are all different. Amen. So it takes an effort. Can we make that effort tonight? To be in agreement with each other in Christ. And it is, and it is definitely a lesson in love. It doesn't have to be eight. It doesn't have to be 
all that is bad that the enemy would want to bring up within us resentment whatever you want to name it tonight but let it be a lesson in love it takes humility and patience and endurance But we are to be eager to guard and keep this harmony and oneness into which we were called. Unity is produced by the Spirit of God. Without the Holy Spirit, we would be divided and every man would be for themselves. But tonight, I want to remind us that unity is produced by the Spirit of God and it has the power to bind us together in peace. Amen. We were called to one home and as such we have more in common with each other than not in common. So we should recognize this and strive to live in mutuality in Christ. In the book of Luke, the 22nd chapter, verses 24 and 26, we see a heated discussion. You will see an heated discussion for those who have read that, that passage. A discussion among the disciples. And I just want to read those three verses. And it says, A dispute also arose among them as to which of them was considered to be greatest. Jesus said to them, the kings of the Gentiles, Lord it over them, and those who exercise authority over them call themselves benefactors. But you are not to be like that, the Lord said. Instead, the greatest among you should be like the youngest, and the one who rules like the one who serves. Can we be or take on a servant mind tonight? Or can we humbly kneel before God and ask him to help us to be good stewards? Yes, that's what he wants from us. We have seen over the years, believers, where elections in Jamaica have become increasingly defined by hostility and division. Political lines have been tightly drawn and there appears to be little interest in seeking compromise. We have seen endless cycles of murder, murder and attacks through ads and through different media houses. Interactions with those we disagree with political, we disagree po with pol politically, seem one to be a, I'm sorry. Interactions with those we disagree with politically seem one misspoken word away from insults anger and even violence no wonder the common wisdom is to never talk about politics in polite company as we would have been would have been taught by our teachers in school never to discuss politics in polite company and so as luke chapter 22 I've read from, from that um, chapter. There was a conflict among the disciples. Just like those vying for power in our recent elections, they too were squabbling over who should be considered the greatest. In some ways, this was to be expected as Jesus had brought together 12 individuals who were different from each other in every way shape and form both socially and politically and you, you can add whatever you want to add there 
they were all different. But we can see where Jesus was non-partisan. He did not reject those who were different from him, but he welcomed them into his life to walk with him and to be his friend. Yet when the disciples did arise, when, yet when the dispute rather did arise, what was Jesus' response? Did he kick Peter out? Did he kick John out of the group? Did he get rid of them out of his life because they had a mere disagreement? No. It was to teach that divisions are overcome when we become servants of one another, when we seek the good of others. And I pause to say, believers, I remember when I was in Bible college and I had a conversation with my principal at the time. And he said to me, Brother Jeremy, I am constantly learning, learning to love God's people as he is a shepherd of a church. He said that he's continuously learning to love the people of God because that is his job. And not to focus on the many bad things that people would do continuously. But to see and to find, to locate the one good those people would have done in their lives. And that in itself stayed with me as an individual, as a person, as a minister of the gospel that stayed with me to not be distracted by the bad people would do, but to find that one good thing about their lives. Let us tonight focus on the good in people so that we can put aside our differences and come together in unity. In God's kingdom, the quest for power is nullified by this call to serve. I want to repeat that. So if you, are, if you go away tonight and you didn't hear anything else, let me remind you that in God's kingdom, the quest for power is nullified by this call to serve. Let us become servants. God is revealed not when one person rises above the other, but when those things which divide us are set aside. As Paul Wright would have wrote to the Colossians, the Colossians, rid yourselves of anger, rage, malice, slander. Put on the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge in the image of our creator. Here, there is no Gentile or Jew, circumcised or uncircumcised, barbarian or Scythian, slave or free, but Christ is all and is in all. Colossians 3, 8 to 10. Jesus was aware that, many, that any desire to become the greatest can lead to dispute and division which is why he rejected this opportunity when offered by the devil in Matthew 4, 8, verses 8 to 10. Instead, he welcomed all persons and taught that when we serve a stranger, we are also serving him, Matthew 10 and 40. Christ is present in the lives of others, even in those we radically disagree with. Christ is working in and through them. So let's put our differences aside. In Jesus, believers, there is no division because God's love 
has been freely distributed to all through him. In John 3, 16, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. It is not the Lord's will for anybody to perish. Even those that we disagree with, even those that are among the body of Christ, that would seem to annoy us and to cause us to be ticked off. God will for them is to experience his everlasting life. This is not to say we cannot be different or have different opinions, but it is instead an invitation to work to overcome our differences because Christ is all and is in all. So I close with my encouragement with this scripture from Psalms 133, verse 1. It says, How good and pleasant it is when brothers live together in unity. So I hope that we are encouraged tonight to dwell in unity, overcoming our differences. Let us pray. God, we pray tonight. We come before you tonight. We cry out to you with a heart of thanksgiving. Thanking you for this opportunity to converse with you, Lord. We pray that no corruption talk would come out of our mouths. Yes, Lord, tonight, today, tomorrow, this week, this month, God, keep us daily from any corruption, any corruptible talks, God, help us to only speak that which is good for building up as fits the occasion, that it may give grace to those who hear. God, may our mouths be grace dispensers all day long. May our mouths build up our brothers and sisters in Christ, build up people who don't know you as Lord and Savior. We pray that you would help us to speak in such a way that we are building up others continually with our words. That we would not grieve your spirit with bitterness. God, we pray that you would remove any and all bitterness from our hearts. Bitterness towards one another. Bitterness towards our neighbors. God, open our, heart, our hearts. Open our eyes. Help us to see any bitterness that is inside of us. And we pray that you would remove it from us. God, we pray that you would remove anger from us that doesn't honor people around us. That doesn't honor you, Lord. God, that you would walk, that you would keep us from all clamor and slander. May all clamor and slander be put away from us, along with all malice. God, we pray that you would keep us from any and all malice, any hint of malice or slander or gossip. God, keep us from these things, we pray tonight. Help us to be kind to one another, to the people who are closest to us, to family members and friends. God, we pray that our speech would be kind to people that we just run into today or in the past, that we encounter on a daily basis. Yes, Lord. May our speech be kind 
to our acquaintances, our co-workers, or people that we meet on the street. Yes, Lord, let our words be kind words. God, help us to be kind, to be tender-hearted. May other people around us, no matter what, spear, family, friends, co-workers, let them see you working in and through our lives, through our speech, our actions, just about everything that concerns us as children of God. Yes, God, may that be true of us. Please help us tonight, God, to forgive one another. Yes, many are hurting. Many are facing so many hurt, hurting challenges and persons would have said something that causes us to go inside a box. Whatever it is, Lord, may we let it go tonight. May we put aside our differences and look to you from whence cometh our help. Tonight our help cometh from you. Yes, God, when we've been wrong, help us to forgive as you have forgiven us. God, help us to constantly remember the wonder of the forgiveness that you have made a reality in our lives and help us to focus and to reflect on that as we forgive those that trespass against us. Yes, Lord, have your way in our lives. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. So tonight I would I want to invite uh, Bishop, I don't know if you can take this prayer request. Uh, I want you to pray for you know for the Lord to restore the unity and the love that we once experienced as believers. You know, that thing that would have brought people in the church, that people, that the saints would experience that unity and that love once more. Yes, sir. Amen. Once again, greetings to all who are on our prayer line, our platform tonight. Lord, God and Father, we thank you for this timely teaching from Pastor Germain to all of us. Lord, we accept that sometime or another, we have allowed the unity of the faith and the unity of the spirit to be challenged. Lord, we have partaken in conversations, in discussions, in critical matters and areas that we have not done well to defend the faith. We have not done well to be diligent in keeping the unity of the faith in the bond of peace. And Lord, we said, we all, we don't say if, and we don't exclude ourselves. Lord, the daily deliberations meetings, some on schedule, some on the telephone, some in group, 
some in prayer meetings, some in studies that are not committed to you. Lord, in the discussing of others, in tearing down of one another, Lord, we humble ourselves tonight. Your word have located us and found guilt in some of us. Lord, we take the first step to rid ourselves by going to others and make confession by coming to you. Lord, Jesus had challenges in his group amongst his inner circle, Peter, James, and John, amongst the 12, amongst the 70, amongst the 120, amongst the multitude. Lord, he felt betrayal, rejection. Lord, he felt denial. He felt hurt. He could have taken offense. But for the common good of his mission, Lord, he bore many a stripes. And as we are challenged tonight, in Colossians 3, 8 to 10, in Matthew 4, 18, 8 and 10, in Matthew 10 and 40, in John 3 and 16, in Ephesians 4, so many scriptures, content, text, was given in a spirit of humility, and literally begging us to come back to that place of inner purity, sincerity, love for one another, that the work of the Lord is not defeated, that the devil is not able to spoil and destroy the mission of the church, which is to love by this all men will know that we are your disciples. So anoint every one of us and lie, whether we be leaders or followers, whether we be heads of departments, titled or entitled men and women. Lord, let not the iniquity come in our hearts. Let not an evil tongue take over. Lord Jesus Christ, but forgive us as we learn to forgive the brother, the sister. And whoever we need to approach, let us approach them. That our words do not hinder us and our prayer life is not made non effect how we treat our wives and our husbands, how we treat those that we are called to exercise authority over. Oh God, we make no difference between them and us. We pray for a spirit of humility, a spirit of forgiveness, and a ready mind to love our one another, each other. So I pray the effects of this prayer tonight, this prayer point, as you hear my heart, as you hear our hearts, that the work of the Lord be not hindered further, but would move on to grow, to progress, to success. And we thank you, it is done. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I want to move on to our next prayer point, and I'm going to ask, Lady Yvette, to take this one. And it is, I want you to pray for inspiration that we may see and feel how God sees and feels toward others by opening the eyes of our hearts to see them through the lens of his patience and graciousness. Lady Yvette. Um. Yes, thank you, Pastor Germain. If you could just repeat the prayer point for me, please. Okay, sure. Pray for inspiration that we may see and feel how God sees and feels towards yes. others 
by opening the eyes of our heart to see them through the lens of his patience and graciousness. Mm. Yes, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the privilege, Father, oh, of approaching your throne of grace. Mm. Lord, because of the access that has been granted to us yes, through Jesus Christ and what he has done in laying down his life so that we can have life. Oh, Jesus. Father, we come. We come presenting our hearts before you, Lord. Mm. Lord, you know and you understand what it was like to be in the flesh to walk as a man. Lord, and that has helped to make you the faithful high priest that you are, Lord, because you are touched with the feelings of our infirmities, Lord. Yes, sir. Oh, Lord, so as we come, Lord, we come presenting ourselves as we are, knowing, Lord, that you have the power, you have the grace. Mm. Lord, to help us to become different other than we are. Lord, and you have called us to the realm of love. You have called us to the place of love. You have called us to a walk of love. Oh, my God. Yes, Lord. So, Lord, we come to receive your love afresh. Mm. To receive your grace afresh, oh God. Hallelujah. So that, Lord, whatever beam is in our eye. Yes. That we are not able to see others as you see them, Lord. Whatever pride is in our heart, oh God. Where we have exalted ourselves above others, Lord. Whatever stumbling block, Lord, is in our way. Lord, that we are not able to see and love mm. others as you want us to, as you have called us to, Lord, we ask for grace tonight. Yes. We ask for help tonight. Help us, Lord. Lord, you know the areas of our weakness. Yes. You know the strongholds in our lives. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, where sometimes we feel we have the right to hold on to our offense. Oh, my God. Oh, God, sometimes we feel we have the right because of what persons have done or what has happened to us. Yes. Lord, and sometimes we, we, we just don't have the strength in our own selves. But, Lord, we come to you because we know yes, that you are able to help us. Thank you, Jesus. And we thank you for this privilege, Lord, to be able to come to the place where we know... Mm. That when we have run out of our own strength, when we have run out of all that we can do, Lord, yes, we Lord. come to your throne of grace to obtain grace and to find mercy in our time of need. Yes. So, Lord, those of us who are on this platform, those of us who are listening, we present ourselves afresh, Lord. And we say, Lord, grant us grace. Yes. Grace, Lord. Not only to see ourselves right, Lord God, not exalted above others, not yes. lower than others, yes. Lord, but to see ourselves as you see us, as your children, Lord, who have been yes. washed in your blood, forgiven of our sins, clothed in your righteousness, exalted. Oh, my God, help us, Lord, to see others. Through your eyes, the eyes of love, the love that can overlook a multitude of sins, mighty God. Yes. yes. Oh, Jesus, the love that can overlook a multitude of sins, Lord, the love that keeps no record of wrongs, mighty God. Yes. Love that keeps no record of wrongs. Lord, grant us grace. Mm. Grant us grace tonight, Father. We receive your grace, Lord, because your word declares, Father, that you give grace to the humble, Hallelujah. to them that have no might. 
you increase strength, Lord. So, oh, Lord, we come Lord. and we receive your grace and we receive your strength tonight, mighty Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, oh, Lord God, to reflect, mm. oh, and to present Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, through in and through our lives, Lord, that others Hallelujah. may see and know, mm. my God, that our God lives, our God reigns in us yes. and through us. In Jesus' name we pray. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And I just want to declare from verse, from 1 Corinthians 1 and 10, and it states, I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree with one another in what you say, and that there be no divisions among you, but that you be perfectly united in mind and thought. Hallelujah. This is the word of the Lord tonight, that we would be united, that we will be united, that we will dwell in unity. And so I'm going to ask Rev. Jen, Rev. Jen, I'm calling on you tonight. I, I see you there. And I'm asking you to pray in regards to that God will reveal to his people his heart of patience and love for one another. We, I want you to pray for a, re, a divine revelation that would cause us to be transformed into that kingdom servant that God so desire of us tonight. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, how Lord. How good and how pleasant it is when brethren dwell together in unity. Oh, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, help us to believe when you say Thank you, it Holy is good. Mm. It is good. Thank then you, Lord. Live together in unity. Thank you, Jesus. When you say it is good, something is good, it is good. Oh, God. When we don't believe, yes. Lord, we find ourselves in chaos. There you go. Amen. We find ourselves in quarrels. Mm. We find ourselves in disputes. Thank you, Jesus. We find ourselves with heavy hearts and spirits, wounded lives. Oh, Lord. But tonight, Lord, if we would believe you, mm. believe on your word, that it is good and pleasant. Thank you, Jesus. That we live together in unity. Thank you, Lord. We would experience the oil mm. that flows from the head down to the skirts. Thank you, Jesus. Of the garments of our high priest. Mm -hmm. We would experience the joy of the anointing that flows from top to bottom. Mm. Because there's no discord in the body. Oh Lord, give us a divine revelation of this psalm that was spoken of tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Give us a revelation of how you want to bless us as a people when we lay aside our offenses. Mm. even our own rights, for we have no rights. We have no rights on this earth below. Oh, yes, God. For him who had the right gave up his right. Mm. He laid down his life for the sheep. The word declares that we have not striven to blood, 
striving against sin. Oh, God. But our Lord Jesus Christ, even before the cross, in the Garden of Gethsemane, in his, in his prayer, his very sweat became, as it were, drops of blood. Mm. In his passion of intercession, in his passion in bringing us into a life that he knew that we couldn't bring ourselves. Thank you, Jesus. He agonized mm. in that olive walk, in that grove, in that olive grove. He agonized on his knees, even when his disciples could not tarry any degree with him. Oh, my God. He knelt and he prayed hour after hour before he was taken mm. to be crucified. And then, oh Lord, you lay down your life for the sheep on cruel Calvary. Today we sing about Calvary in sweet songs, mm. but it was a bitter cup that you had to drink. It was a bitter time before you entered into glory but you did it for us yes and you showed us the way how we should give up our rights to live together in unity yes. oh lord my god thank you jesus help us to live out patience mm. lord we are so quick to condemn. Oh my God. Help us to live out the life of patience, mm. waiting upon you for vindication. Yes. And even if the vindication doesn't come, mm. Lord, we love with the whole heart. And even if we have been despised, yes, we make ourselves vulnerable again. Oh my God. In the process, of love mm. for you oh god showed us the way so that you would bring transformation yes into our lives so that the kingdom of god would come and be demonstrated among us we want to tell others of the kingdom but this is kingdom yes when we can forgive one another when we do not hold grudge, Lord, in our foundations, many of us are weak. Lord, in my own foundation, I see areas of weakness. Oh, Lord. I try so hard to please. Oh, my God. But, Lord, when something is said to me, I mm. can't believe. Thank you, Jesus. That my efforts are not good enough. Oh, my God. My heart is so easily broken. Because I try so hard to please. Oh, thank you, Jesus. But, oh, God, help me to help be us. strong in my inner man. Help us, Lord. Help my brothers and sisters to be strong in help our us. inner man. Yes. That Christ will dwell in our heart by faith. Mm. That we do not look to others to authenticate us. Mm -hmm. But that our we would find our pleasure mm. in God. We would wait on God to say, well yes. done, thou yes. good and faithful servant. Yes. Enter into the rest of the Lord. No man can vindicate us. No man can authenticate us. To God we rise and to God we fall. So help us to be strengthened in our inner man. Oh Lord, so that we are able to stand up on the trials. So that we are able to walk out unity. We'll be able to love we will have no conditions set, mm. but we will love from the heart. Yes. We do not say we will love when others love us back. Oh my God. Because you know that we won't get back the love many times. No. But that's okay. No. That's okay. We mm. move on and we love just the same. Yes. Oh Lord, 
Help us. Help us, Lord. The salt and light in the earth. The shine forth in your kingdom. Thank you, the darkness, the darkness and the hatred and the murder that is in men's heart. Oh God, help us not to murder one another in your house. Oh my God. Lord Jesus. Oh Lord, we cry out to you. We do not want to have the spirit of Cain. Oh my God. Oh Lord. We want the anointing to flow in your house. Mm. Jesus. Oh Lord, we put away the spirit of criticism. Yes. Murmuring and complaining. Oh my God. And we hold on to your mighty hand. Mm. For you are able to change us. No matter how we change come us. to you in the kingdom. You are able to change us from inside out. Yes. You are able to remove the heart of stone. You are able to move bitter, remove bitterness. Yes. You are able to take away shame. And yes, the errors sir. of our weaknesses. Mm. The fault lines that we have. And you are able, oh God, to renew us and give us the right mind to love others. Oh Lord. Oh Lord, bring us to the place of unity that we so badly need, that we so yes, desperately need. We need it, Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. So help us tonight, Lord. Help us, God. Lord, in this study tonight and in our prayers tonight, Lord. Hear our petitions Here's as they Lord. come up to you, Here's Lord. Tonight may seem like an ordinary night, oh God. but Lord God Almighty, this is such a powerful night. Oh my For God. if we would love one another, Lord Jesus Christ, it would turn Amen. our nation Lord right Lord side Lord. up. And our mm. families would experience change our own lives would begin mm -hmm. to take on oh lord jesus thank you jesus we would become beautiful for you thank you jesus yes lord we thank you now thank you for jesus. when we pray we must believe that the things we ask of you yes sir. that you will do them for us yes so we say thanks father god thank you in jesus. the name of jesus christ Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I don't know if, if we want to just open our mics and to and just give God some praise for what He's about to do, what He's doing. Thank you. Hallelujah. Instant. I believe that the Lord is working on each of us. Hallelujah. As we overcome our differences. As we advance the kingdom of God, I know it's not easy, believers. I know, I know, I've been there, but we have to realign and refocus and pay attention to that which is most important, and that is advancing God's kingdom and to invite others to that they may experience. This love, this unity that they so desire. Mm. So I don't know if you would want to just open your mics and yes, give Lord. God thanks. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. In our very church, in our local church, love and faith. As mm. the name says it, love and peace. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, let us be ambassadors of the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Mm. Yes. Thank you, As Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Yes. Glory Glory to God. Putting Thank our you, Lord. self aside. Yes. And trusting Lord. God. Hallelujah. Oh, so Jesus. cleansing, you, Lord, or renew that easy. It is so easy to be ourselves and to be selfish and 
to be self-centered. Oh, that is hallelujah. the easy part of life. Me, myself, and I. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. We humbly come before God. And we are here to work on our Jesus. lives. Work on our lives. Work on our minds. Jesus. God, work on the words that we constant, constantly speak Jesus. on a daily basis. We have been mean to each other at times. Oh, mean. Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord. Forgive oh, my me. God. Worship mm. us. Cleanse us. We have been selfish at times. Renew mm. us. But let us be reminded tonight oh. that it is not about us. Oh, Jesus. But it is about God. Oh, oh, oh my God. Cleanse it. You would not even know tonight. Oh, Jesus. Let us not be ignorant to the things by oh my lord mm. hallelujah thank you jesus. jesus thank you lord thank you lord it's of god only if we would just love each other yes oh, only god. if we would just oh, open our hearts and put our differences mm. aside open our hearts tonight <laughs> only if we would just lay at the feet of the cross oh, oh, and ask the Lord to work on our hearts. Yes, oh, my Jesus. God. Jesus. Yes, there is so much tail bearing and so much things that is going mm. on in the oh, body of Christ. That it is God. screaming. Mm. It is screaming. Oh, the, yes. the Lord. The, Father. Mm. Oh, the, the Lord is that pleased. Yes. Yes. Jesus. 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 The church has become oh. mm. the yes. a corrupt oh, place. Jesus. Jesus. Oh, my mm. God. Oh, Almighty God. Oh, oh, my God. God. Oh, my God. Oh, Holy God. Holy God. Jesus. 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 Hear my cry, oh Lord. Mm. Yes. Attend unto oh, my Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, my heart is overwhelmed. Oh, Lord. Lord. To the rock mm. that is higher than that. Uh, oh, my God. Repair my heart. Oh, my God. Yes, Repair mm. and prepare. Lord, the, the songwriter says tonight, the joy of my heart yes. all the way to love you more. My Savior, live with the touch of your hand. What have I? Stronger is it. Lord, I show us the mercies. Your will ought to be there. Hallelujah. Let us be sincere tonight. Gentle Jesus. Let us be Come tonight. deliberate in our words, in our actions, purify that we would love. Mm. Even oh, when there is every no guilt, every doubt, love. Jesus. Even God when Jesus. we don't feel like loving, heal let us my love. body, heal my life. Let mm. us not pass from all the strangers on the street side Jesus. without oh, greeting them. Heart, oh but let us Thank spread the love of Christ. Christ. Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus. Elamando Bondubu Shiandabas. Oh, Jesus. Greet them in love. Oh, there are so yeah, many ways of oh, spreading God. the love of God. Yes. Jesus. Let us spread it Draw into our me. uniqueness. Draw me close. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word oh, of the Lord says to us believers. Brothers and sisters, rejoice. Let us rejoice tonight. Pray for full restoration. Encourage one another. Be of one mind. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with us. Yes. The God of love and peace. Things. The Lord is speaking to us tonight. Mm. He's speaking to me. Yes, he's speaking to us. And he wants us to put aside 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank Hallelujah. you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I will ask for one more prayer tonight. But before I even do that, I just want to reiterate on what I would have shared when I, I came back last year. Mm. While in the Middle East, I would have encountered so many Arabs mm. and they would have poured out their love on me. Just meeting me for a short period of time, they would have poured their love. Jesus, and it, Jesus. it would have cornered me and caused me to wonder and to think. I have never felt such pure love from mm. even my very own. Mm. But those Arabs that I met, that the Lord would have caused me to meet, their love was so pure. And when it was time for me to go away, there was many tears that was shed. And they would have reminded me, don't forget about me. Mm. Don't forget about me. And so I encourage us, as we fellowship, as we would meet times and times again, don't just walk past your fellow brother and your fellow sister, but greet them and shame the devil. The enemy wants us to be locked in ourselves and to be self-centered. Mm. Let us break out tonight and love. Let us put aside our differences. Tonight I'm going to ask, thank you, Jesus. Sister Susan, Sister Susan, I'm going to ask you to pray for those who are weak mm. among us. Weak in faith, weak in love. Mm. Just about weak and desire of the Lord to strengthen them and to take them to that place oh, God. that cause them to never be the same. Sister Susan, Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Good night. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Yes. Father, we want to thank you, oh God, for this another beautiful night. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Lord, we thank you for your faithfulness. Because even when, Lord, we are faithless, you remain faithful. Yes. Mm. Lord is not by might and is not by it's not by might and it's not by strength, but it's by your power, Lord, by your spirit that we look to you tonight. Mm. Because Lord, when we are weak, you are strong. Yes. Lord, help us to remember that with you, Lord, all things are possible. Mm. And Lord, as we seek to love one another. Lord, we first need to love ourselves. Yes. Because, Lord, we cannot give what we don't have or what we don't know. And so, mm -hmm. Lord, help us, Lord, to learn to love ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then, Lord, you said we must love our neighbor as we would mm -hmm. love ourselves. Mm -hmm. You demonstrated that in your word. In that it is by no, learning to love ourselves, we can mm. then pass that love on to love someone selflessly without, mm. as you said, loving them for who they are. Yeah, yes. Lord, knowing that, mm. Lord, who were or still is unlovable, but you, Lord, in our faults and in our mess, you still mm -hmm. love us. 
unconditionally. Yes. Lord, it, it is so strategic because, Lord, to love the lovable is not hard. Mm. And that is why we ought to follow your example. So that, Lord, by, do, by demonstrating to love, it means, Lord, we are doing what you would have you would have wanted us to do in yes. that we would have loved our neighbor. We would love our brothers, our sisters, as Pastor Jermaine said, and shame the devil. Because mm -hmm. if we know how to operate, then we would know that it would have been the enemy who would yes. have asked us to hate. Because you, Lord, would not put hate in our hearts. Oh, so, to shame him by demonstrating <laughs> You would have taught us to love our brother as we would love ourselves. Mm. Lord, if we practice it each day, if we reach all to you today, if we let, leave ourselves pliable in your hands each day to say, Lord, not my will, but mm. yours be done. Not my will, Lord, but yours be done. Lord, your mm. kingdom come then Lord, it would get better each day. Because once we know what your word mm -hmm. says, your word is life and it brings life. So Lord, it is your word that we will mm -hmm. get. Your, your word is what we are going off, not what we think, not what we, not, not, not what we believe, but what your word says. Because Lord, we cannot pull on our own understanding because we ought to fail. We are bound to fail. We are bound to fail. Yeah. Lord, tonight, Lord, you said the greatest of them all, the commandment is love. We look to you, Father. Mm. We cry out to you, Lord, mm. and what is happening. In, even in the world as we see displayed daily on the news, Father God, it is lacking for me in the homes. Lord, when you look on what is happening in our school, oh, my God. society, you realize that love is not there. What yes. the world needs is love. Yes. It covers a multitude of sin. That is what it, it's just that we're lacking. We, we don't know your word. Mm. So if we're gonna be followers of you, Father God. We have to know what you what you would have said we ought to do. And so, Lord, help us each day. It's not about feelings. It's about doing the right. Love, yeah. we go and we lift up holy hands. And Lord, our hearts are not right. Oh my God. Lord, clean hands, pure heart. And so tonight, Lord, we just give ourselves to you each day. It's about saying, Lord, if you can use anyone or anything, Lord, use me. Mm. As we keep ourselves pliable in your hands, Lord, it's not my will, but yours be your kingdom come on earth as you have ordained it in heaven. Yes. Lord, Lord it, it, it sounds so simple, but it is so strong. What the world needs, families, families are are just break, are just families are not um what families are were, were, were families are no longer what they are before because Lord it starts in the family because good mm. families make better communities communities is what makes Lord the world would make I mean the society and yeah. so Lord cause us cause the love to start springing up. From in the home, yes. train up the child in the way he or she should go, and when he's old, he will not depart from it. Lord, yes. help us even as parents to demonstrate it, not just to, to say do it, but Lord, help us first lead by example by showing love. Give love. Mm. Show love. Lord, we just thank you. Yes. As we continue to fight this good fight that we're in, help us, oh God. That, you know, the fruit of the spirit yes. would, would grow in us each day. The fruits will germinate. We, we, we plant that seed in us each 
day yes. we step up and we purpose ourselves that Lord no comes what may during the day. We would love, we show love somebody hurt us on the road while we're driving in the office, in the supermarket. Lord, help us to remember that, Lord, we're wearing you. And Lord, yes. it, it, the world is looking on. And so, Lord, help us. And once we start practicing it, Lord, because let us not fool ourselves. It's not going to come so easy, especially... Yes. Someone hurts you. But Lord, by doing what you commission us to do, if mm -hmm. it is we say we love you, then Lord, we will keep your commandments. We will follow <laughs> what you would have commissioned us to do. So Lord, we just give you praise and we give you glory and we continue, Lord, to, to, to just work on ourselves yes. work on ourselves each day lord make us to be we get up we say lord help me to be a better person today help me to do this better help me to just just ask for god's help because we cannot do it on us on our own strength we are yes. all failed if we think that we can so lord yes to give you the praise we continue to give you the glory as Thank we go you. from strength to strength in you oh god yes. because it's by night and it's not by power but it's certainly by your spirit as we give you all the praise we give you all the glory and we tell you thanks in jesus name amen the word of the lord from Acts 4, verse 32, it says, All the believers were one in heart and mind. No one claimed that any of their possessions was their own, but they shared everything they had. There's a song that is on my heart, just a few words, and I will sing it and then I hand over to, to Bishop. And it says, The cry of my heart is to love you more to live with the touch of your hands stronger each day show me your way the cry of my heart is to love you more to live with the touch of your hands stronger each day. Hey, show me your way. Just another time. The cry of my heart is to love you more. To live with the touch of your hands stronger each day show me, show me your, way. your way thank you jesus hallelujah. hallelujah i'm so excited tonight because i know that the lord is working on our hearts that we will overcome our differences <laughs> and we'll put aside those things that would want to cause division and strife. And I'm so excited of what the Lord is doing. Yes, I see the Lord working amongst us, among us and bringing back that unity and love as we advance his kingdom. The Lord bless you tonight, believers. Over to you, Bishop. Thank you, Pastor Germain. I really felt blessed, elevated, encouraged. And I know we all were. We thank God for Team 4. Start out on a good, good note. Thank you for the words that were shared with us tonight, the prior points that were taken up by the various persons and even those who didn't pray out 
that you followed on. We pray for the Rileys as they complete their assignment. We pray for Team 4 and all the persons that are a part of Team 4. Don't stop now. Don't pull back. Don't, because somebody has tried to offend you or to say something disrespectful. The devil is a liar. Just believe God. We close with these words today. Change my heart, O oh God. Make it ever pure. Change my heart, O oh God. May it be like yours. So, Father, we thank you that these are not just mere words spoken from lips just because we have lips. But, Lord, be with us in this act of transformation. True love, cover those that are visiting overseas, cover those that have returned, and those that will be going. Cover those that, as our brother said, need strengthening, need love, need a miracle, need some finances, need some love and care. We commit them before you. Any sick among us, we anoint with oil and pray the prayer of faith. Any that needs a visitation, Lord, to this prayer meeting, visit them tonight. Bless those that will go online and watch. Lord, last week there was over 93. I pray that we would double or go beyond our numbers and the numbers of last week, reaching into the hearts and homes and lives of your people. We pray for our leaders, those that we are seeing, those that we are not seeing, those that went out on mission. Prophet Bernard, Dr. Ben, oh God, we pray for the elders, we pray for the pastors, the ministers, Pastor Lolet, Pastor Ricardo, we pray for all in the service of the Lord, cover them, bless them, Pastor George, his wife, Margaret, remember elders, Bailey, Gina, and George, remember, oh God, those that need our prayer. We're not missing in action, but God, we lift them up before you. Thank you for Sister Jennifer and others. Elder Marjorie, Elder Annette. Oh God, Brother Ricardo, Deacon Ricardo, remember Deacon Ness Isilda and all that you have placed in the care of the Holy Spirit. Watch over them. Pastor Germain, fortify, strengthen. We commit them to you. Remember Apostle, yes, Ramon and all the others. Lord, bless them. We commit them to you. We pray in Jesus' name. The Lord bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine upon you, be gracious unto you. Lift up the light of his countenance upon you and grant you his peace. Shalom. Shalom, brethren. God bless you. Thank you again, Pastor Germain. Thank you again, Lady Yvette. God bless you all. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you.